All right, I am joined by AD Craft and Sir Durpal. Um, you, you both came up a lot as I was doing <laughs> my research, uh, trying to get familiar with cyberpunk Minecraft style <laughs> builds. You type that into YouTube and uh, both your names popped up. In fact, Sir Durpal already used one of your banners <laughs> in, in my cyberpunk <laughs> city. <laughs> uh, but so you guys were gracious enough to invite me here to show me around um, some of the builds that you have done and yeah. help me get some even more inspiration. So, yeah, this is going to be great. Just a little show and tell. And I'm hoping it will spark some ideas on things I could possibly use in the Cyberpunk City on Hermitcraft. Yeah, sure, sure. So I've used quite a, a lot of big lettering on the side of buildings. In terms of filling things up, there's lots of really quite cool Minecraft fonts that you can use and just add a quite a futuristic look to some of the buildings. And you find that uh, I certainly found that you get some quite big blank spaces, particularly if you're using some of the darker colours. So it's a great way to light some of the things up. So just any words. But I found that um, similar to some of the stuff Joel's doing, some of the Japanese words seem to just work. I don't know why. He's got more of an oriental style going exactly, uh, throughout exactly. his cyberpunk than, yes. than I do. I was going to ask, like... When you do letters like this, do they typically mean something or is it more random? I, yeah. Like this Ryu? I just literally will, I'll pick a word that I think will look cool in the font is generally the secret mm. behind behind the curtain okay. there. Um, but yeah, it doesn't, <laughs> that's the thing, it doesn't need to mean anything. Um, but like, obviously, if you just find something that you've got that's got a cool look to it. So I've used data on this big sign here just because data and cyberpunk on this big glass uh, one as, as we head through here. Um, I really like the framing of this yeah. with the end rods and the trap doors. Yes, uh, yeah. Th this, this one I could see hanging off of one of the buildings that I've already done actually yeah. and would look really good well yeah what one of the key things is like is lighting and n rods are very very much your friend it, when it comes to cyberpunk just because they're they're so versatile oh yeah you've even snuck them behind you've got almost yes. like two layers of glass and you've even snuck them in here yes. to light this whole thing up. That's cool. Yeah. So when you when you get to putting, and again, the other thing I would say is you'll see some random symbols. Again, just have a, a mess about with some simple block design. So I've got this one that is just it's just literally blocks going back and forth, but it looks like a corporate logo. And obviously, for me, cyberpunk and large mega corporations pretty much go hand in hand yeah uh that's one of the things a lot of tips i've i've seen is just advertisements everywhere type thing yes you know <laughs> is is real big Make so even works. if you can kind of portray that with just random corporate mm. symbols that's that gets the job done doesn't it yes yeah speaking of fonts um i'm i'm, I'm usually quite partial to the uh the what's it called the galactic that language that's yes. standard galactic oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah the, galactic the actual standard enchantment alphabet. Yeah. language that's the one. Yes. Yeah. Brain not braining. Um, that one's also pretty cool for because it do, it does also give uh, a bit of an oriental vibe and uh, does obfuscate a little bit of and you could you could hide Easter eggs in like that sort of font and people right because people will look that up and, everything. and translate it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Another thing that I've kind of tried to, tried to and they can be quite tricky is trying to get some big like satellite dishes and things. Ah, oh, okay. I see. So I've got various yeah, ones, yeah, yeah. one down here and some that sit on top of some of the buildings as we go through. Um, but here you said like the big billboards there, just it, the font for me doesn't need to make any sense. It it just needs to, to look cool really is the kind of vibe that okay. I tend to go for. Yeah, yeah, that's good. My my brain sometimes is just too mm. logic based and thinking I have to make an actual yes. word out of every single sign. And I like that, that yeah. this isn't necessarily that, you know? Yeah. And lots of repetition as well. Obviously, in a world of cyber corporations, you want to make yourself stand out by getting your name out there as much as you humanly can. <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay, that's cool. So in this, in these two, actually, it's probably these are two buildings. Most of these, I have to admit, are kind of hollow shells. But for these two, it, I have done full interiors for them. Ooh, so this okay. one is an entire apartment block. So there's some kind of little tips and and tricks in here, like some of these little screens. Um, oh, yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah, I was trying to do something like this. I ended up doing like a banner pattern instead of the trapdoor mm. as like a terminal, but definitely didn't nail 
the banner pattern. Yeah. So I might need, to, <laughs> I yeah. might need just more searching of Sir Durple's uh, banner examples for sure. <laughs> I think yeah. I have. I think I have some screens. Yeah, like a terminal mm. uh, screen, right? Yeah. Mm. Okay, I'll look that up because I, mean, I, I tried to always, wing it and it didn't turn out. There's always the um, uh, uh, the option of maps. I don't know who's Ooh. doing the maps this season <laughs> on Hermitcraft, but maps is I, always a good use. Yeah, it's tedious, man. I, I did some maps last I season, know. and I immediately burnt out with doing maps. Uh, I can't imagine well, Beef's going to be doing a lot this no. season either. <laughs> what, I can, what I can say is that if you're doing tran uh, transparent maps, uh, you don't need to put down so many blocks. Um, you just build yourself a nice little glass platform out in the void in the end, and you only really need to put down like the letters and maybe some symbols mm -hmm. and stuff and make it look like an actual holographic uh, computer screen, and then you just, you just yeah. have like a, a holographic, yeah, a transparent map. Yeah, that's blocks. cool. I don't know how I don't know if I've ever seen I, I have seen it before, but I don't know if I've ever seen it on Hermitcraft. So that might be mm -hmm. really fun to introduce to the Hermitcraft viewers. The transparent yeah, map yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, another thing for the interiors, I've got uh, uh, I, I use quite a lot of glass panes. It's just these big screens. Yeah. Just... yeah, a little holographic screen type thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. One thing that I see that you started doing in your last build impulse is don't shy away from bold colors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you, we've got limited lights, so just stick in lots of lots of concrete, lots of other things. So these are little apartments that we've got in here. Oh, yeah, that's cool. I like these banners. Little sunk that's beds. Cool, kind of gradient, different colors through them too. Yes. <laughs> cool. Very cool. Now you cool. did a lot of this building. Like I, I noticed, eighty craft. I was checking out your channel, and you kind of have been uh, more geared towards steampunk. Vibe yes. lately and so your cyberpunk era was actually a few years ago so there yeah there might even be a lot more blocks available now Definitely. than there were back then when you were building this stuff out right yeah yeah i mean there was i think this went through a couple of updates in this phase and i think it was around when cyberpunk 2077 came out there was quite a lot of interest and i just caught the bug um but it has <laughs> been a while but there's definitely some of the new blocks that I can 100% see working like very, very well in the new style, particularly the tough blocks. Um, yeah. Those, I think, in 120 point, 120.121, rather, are going to be amazing. Yeah, and we cheated them in on Hermitcraft, so yes. uh, we have them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that and the copper, right? All the new copper trapdoors and, yeah. and oh. things like that with the copper. There's a yeah. lot going uh, yeah. for us. Yeah, the copper trapdoors are, are absolutely amazing. They work for... for so many different ones they would be brilliant for cyberpunk um but i in my steampunk world i i've updated in the same way and i got the new tough blocks in there but the the copper trapdoors are so expensive <laughs> yep yep we're petitioning mojang to, to yes. uh, change the recipe for that for yeah. sure yeah <laughs> as scar would say highway robbery <laughs> <laughs> things like little little glass screens as well are pretty good they, they work on the outside of builds as well so where you've got say two sections like this you can have a a bit that sticks out on the build mm -hmm. and you can actually just have a nice entrance way oh, yeah. there around the door as well so those are that adds so much breaks mm -hmm. up some of the flatness exactly yeah cool yeah so again you'll see some of the some of the just the simple patterns just like i say come up with some patterns now we've got frog lights we didn't even have frog lights when i was building these so you'll Ooh. see a lot of sea lanterns which mm -hmm. would be very expensive but one of the things that i thought about is frog lights and i've actually done it a bit further on we'll see is if you've got a big blank space you can kind of have a bit of a tetris pattern using the frog lights as colors oh, yeah. throughout that um okay yeah i can see that i definitely can see mm -hmm. making the, the tetris shapes with each color and connecting yep. them all together that would be cool and the other thing that you'll notice that probably is a theme coming around is pipes and i find that mm -hmm. these uh, nether brick walls just work so well as pipes because they've got a color that doesn't because it's not a color that you would use otherwise they always stick out so you get a good bit of contrast, yeah. whichever blocks you're using in your build. I like to see also uh, a lot of trapdoors being used. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I was starting to throw trapdoors on everything, and I started to, to worry that I was overdoing it. No, and no. so I actually laid off on the last build that I did from mm. covering the frog lights with trapdoors. But 
now seeing how many are being used in your world, I feel like maybe I should have just gone yes. for it. Yes, yeah, trapdoors <laughs> trap are, are your friend for sure. So here you can see that you've got the, the I think it's blue terracotta, but it just adds that extra little lip before you get to the lighting. So it's just yep. when you're passing it, seeing that extra bit of depth makes a big, big difference to the builds. Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, that's cool. And have you decided in terms of street lighting, or are you going to just have ground-based lighting? Because I'm going to have some. Yeah, definitely going to have some street lights. Um, mm -hmm. Not sure we've settled on a design. So uh, this is this is pretty cool. Mm. I've seen this a lot as as I research cyberpunk. The the kind of lever into the yes. the rod and then like almost like a handlebar type mm. thing but it works really good on the lights here yeah, too. Yeah, it also works really really well for interior lights so you've got like those fluorescent strip light bulbs so mm -hmm. you can have like an entire yeah. ceiling covered in these and it looks looks really really good. Yeah. They're also pretty yeah, I like good that. for um uh, the the levers themselves are also pretty good as like um an alternative to whoops that that's a trapdoor. Um <laughs> As a alternative to these these pipes, mm. you could also be using some you know incorporate a little bit of light into your pipes, or even using some like lightning rods and stuff like yes. that. Like and maybe some lightning rods as uh, pipes. And yeah, just then, small scale you know, pipes. Letting it run back in, or if there was a secondary wall here, maybe actually curving it so it goes that yes. way. Yes. And okay. Yeah. And either using droppers or dispensers, you can actually, if you pop it in the ground like this, you yeah. can actually have the uh, the levers going in and using either your lightning rods or your um, things, you can actually just have it so you can see it going, the pipe going yeah. into the... Yeah, like it's depositing ground. something yes. in there. Yeah. And my favorite... Even better some chains yes yeah. it's actually and, pulling it out of the hole or yeah. going back down in the um, <laughs> and my favorite <laughs> okay my favorite for the chains is the smoker because you get this big hole oh, there here, we go so it just... oh yeah 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 mm -hmm. very cool mm -hmm. there's a lot of decorative blocks now that just uh, offer us these <laughs> oh, yes. little oh, details yeah. that, that we can use like me being a redstoner, I'm already getting a lot of like, I can't believe you're using hoppers and auto crafters for decoration and things like that but it just right. makes sense. There's just so much detail in a single block, and you don't get yes. that with your typical Minecraft blocks, you know, the old school ones anyway. No. And stairs, stairs no, as well. My, my favorites are all of the redstone blocks. They're yeah. Like, uh, if, you, if you look at um, some of the builds that are in my uh, cyberpunk world, um, <laughs> it is covered in redstone especially um i think observers is probably my favorite yeah <laughs> i was just I gonna say yeah. he's holding them pretty <laughs> yeah. much all of them yeah i've been sprinkling yeah, observers this. throughout too i think uh um what did i uh, both both marketplaces i've done um both the record shop and the soup shop i think i used observers for some detail and mainly just this kind of like side stripe Mm. of the like kind of like gray uh, lighter gray on the top and the bottom i think but also when you actually place them up if you get unfortunately you can't place the orientation but when you've got the arrows as well so if you want some industrial like pipe work then actually if you get, get on the right side of the build then it can be quite a nice little decorative oh, touch there oh right so basically it has to be facing north yes. uh, south to see the arrows because even if you turn yeah. This way, it's still going to face. Yeah, exactly. Style, so or, unfortunately, or they're not not directional like the crafter. But if you if it does fit for your build, then it can be a really nice touch. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Definitely something to keep in mind then. Cool. So redstone blocks are, are also going to be um, a big a big thing because they also look that little bit more futuristic. One of the things mm -hmm. that one of the reasons that I started doing some of this cyberpunk building was I, I've also done quite a lot of futuristic building in the past was just to kind of challenge the norms there's so many medieval builds out there there's so many castles <laughs> yeah. and taverns mm -hmm. and all of those things but actually if you get a bit more creative with things like the redstone blocks you can really get some different looks you have some really tall buildings so this is uh we'll keep going on on some of yes. the smaller ones but one thing i really wanted to get some help with today and hopefully we can wake our, work our way there is I got some tall buildings coming up and just yes. a lot of blank sides and stuff that get really tall and I need to figure out how to break it up, right? Yes. Um, so even like this bit that you did here, you've got this kind of tall 
kind of pillar right here, but you you kind of jetted it out with the mm -hmm. cyan concrete, the glass, the shroom lights behind it, mm -hmm. and that make it so much more interesting than had it just been one flat surface all the way up. Yeah, and and layers. So so if you've got so stripes and layers was something that I found with building building these, and I kind of had the impression that a cyberpunk build is something that's kind of built built up over a lot of time. So people have added things to it. So where you've got the bits that jut out, it's kind of somebody's just come and added this extra mm -hmm. little bit to the building. I think you've done that it, um, really well in your latest one, um, where you've Thank got you. like the different bits. The more bits that you just smush together the more different styles it actually works really well in cyberpunk yeah it's almost like uh you're building with legos and you just keep stacking yes. pieces together yeah. you know yeah in cyberpunk and futuristic what one thing that i found that's a bit different to some of the other ones is you can be a bit braver with leaving blank space so something like like this you've, you've got still quite a blank wall with just some piping on there but actually mm -hmm. you don't need to do too much with it because of the style and again light and dark just contrast just throwing in the black in the middle there can break up the height yeah that's a good point about the contrast is because yeah i have another piece that's that's so far i've just made it like all big uh big andesite bit yeah. and trying to think of how i'm going to break that up and just mm. knowing okay if i come in and throw something darker like mm. blackstone which usually you'd be a little afraid to put next to it it, yeah. it works out i really like how this kind of doesn't connect no. You know, like the, the end rods don't really connect to the wall. Uh, almost makes it up like way cooler than had had this connected. You know what I mean? Yeah. And this that's something that, that walls, are, again, are a, a brilliant, brilliant building tool. So if you come around just to, to the side of this building, you'll see that you get this little protrusion. Uh, and the, yep. the only thing that you wow. need to watch out for is where the walls connect on the, the backside. So as long as you've got enough space to either leave uh -huh. a gap yeah. or have that shown on the inside, you get this really lovely embossed look. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, because we don't have like vertical slabs, right? No. So this is a way to kind yes. of get a vertical slab look by using wall and then solid bl uh, full blocks. Yes. But yeah. yeah, I've had that issue too, where it's you have something on the backside and once it connects, it kind of like ruins the entire yeah. look of it. But you were able to get away with it here because it's only on the very far left and the very far right, it looks yeah, like, exactly. where it had to connect to something inside. So yes. yeah, yeah, that ends up looking really good. This was me messing around with some of the newer stuff. So this is kind of one of the ideas I had. So you've got a big blank space with the andesite and using the smooth stone, you can kind of make Tetris pieces, um, which you can just have a <laughs> bit of fun with it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I totally see that. <laughs> That immediately makes you think of Tetris, just because yeah. of the different, yeah, the shapes. Used. Exactly, okay. and it just and the, the, the block colors just work so well because the side of the smooth stone matches up perfectly with the andesite. Yeah, I've never noticed that before. Yes. Yeah, just the the one pixel border around it is yes. totally like an andesite texture. Absolutely. Wow. And if you want to go a bit more colorful, if you just come around to the other side of the build, this is what I was talking about in terms of the the real Tetris pieces. So, oh, yeah, the frog lights. Yes. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> I got to I got to do some advertisement for Ethos Frog Lights. Yes. So uh, <laughs> something like maybe I could do that, you know, make yeah. a, a Tetris display out of them and, and mm. people will immediately be like, yep, frog lights are, are cool. Look at uh, you got some auto crafters like stacked up facing each other. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever seen that. Yeah, that was an idea that I actually saw on Sir Derpel's video. Um, and and thought that's a brilliant idea so i thought i'd mess around with it myself yeah i did uh i used a couple auto crafters in one of the shops i did and because they have just that that little corner right the two corners mm -hmm. in the front if i can place these the right way i lit them up thinking that would be cool right to to have a little bit of glow uh on the corners yeah one of but, the uh, one of the things that i actually did in one of my videos was um was uh, it's a like a floor strip kind of thing, right? So if you have these all facing into each other like oh. this, and the lights actually connect up, they, uh -huh. they make like bigger lights in the middle. And then what you can do is you can actually use like a nice um, uh, observer clock, right? To just give them a little bit of like, uh, oh, if, uh, oh! If you face the, the powering up, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, right I see right. what you mean. So you you power. Yeah, let me get that. 
Kind of the same way. So I was doing like uh, I was using observers to power the copper bulbs along the the top of the building, and I kind of did like this circular power strip like this through yeah. observers, and um, and that would just kind of go back and forth. So do something like that. <laughs> there you oh. Go. If you get the timing right, just it's... right, it actually yeah. rotates very kinda well. Like... Um, oh, yeah, this one is right here. This one's kind of like spinning yeah. around in a circle mm. standing on it. And you can, but, even, uh... you can even send pulses through the system so that they'll all like light up in sequence and then turn off in sequence again. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's and so cool. You can, do all kinds of, you can do all kinds of cool stuff with this, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not exactly lag efficient. No. So be careful. <laughs> <laughs> on yeah. off switches on off switches it's yeah. fine Always. yeah i, I don't <laughs> you, know if you, anything you. in my cyberpunk city is going to be lag efficient but uh <laughs> a guy should probably think a little bit about yeah. it if i want anybody to visit yeah you, that's you. a super cool trick mm. oh my gosh so, okay uh, i'm using that I've one been with your permission i've been listening <laughs> to some of addy's uh advice about blank spaces and obviously i agree with pretty much most of what he said um, one thing is definitely true. He was saying that um, leaving blank spaces, especially grayer uh, toned blank spaces, is definitely not a bad idea. One of the things that is very prevalent in cyberpunk building is brutalist architecture. Yes. Uh, there are just going to be massive gray blocks of concrete yes. in a cyberpunk city that is something mm. now fair enough that doesn't always look great yeah. in um in a minecraft setting and so yeah definitely doing some of the signs and stuff the big lettering doing the signs doing the billboards those things are great two of my favorite things that i like to use and they're not exactly here right now maybe uh i can show you a little bit later in in my world um is holograms and yes. graffiti Yes. Both of those things um, add, they add lots of color, massive amounts of interest, and in the case of the holograms, also a lot of like lighting that looks mm. super cool in like yes. shader views and stuff like that. Yeah. Right. Okay. I've heard some things about holograms, and I think Beef might have did one when he had a, a cyberpunky build back in season seven uh, that I've heard yeah. people talk about. It's essentially just mixing up. Um, basically, um, my technique for building it would be building out the. Uh, let's say you're building an impulse head hologram, right? You would then you you would build the impulse head out of uh, solid blocks, and then start thinking about which blocks do you want to replace. You, you try and replace them with the similar colors of glass panes. You mix in glass panes, regular glass, and some air blocks to break up the hologram so it doesn't look completely solid. Um, and then you mix in some some like end rods and stuff to to give a bit it a of glow lighting. And, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, they, they can look cool. really really cool. I've always said, and I've got a building series that I've run for for quite some time, that quite often there is the temptation to over texture or over detail builds. And yeah, when you're building something, that. <laughs> yeah, when you're building something like Cyberpunk, where you've got these massive, massive skyscrapers, these massive, massive builds, it just becomes impractical to do that. So you get people who go crazy with gradients and things like that, which is all well and good. But actually, if you're in a city, you remember it's going to be functional. Nobody's going to be spending the time painting, are they, in in these things? So the only mm. only painting is going to be graffiti. So where you've got something like this, you you can do things that people would normally shy away from as builders, like use really really bright bold colours and just these big slabs of grey. And then what mm -hmm. you'll find is that the eye naturally gets drawn to the specific details that you do want to add. So when you're looking at this, you've got some windows and they're only there's only, what, six windows in the, the entire wall. But it doesn't look empty because you get drawn to the wording and the pipes and the lettering. So you can focus people's attention without needing to, in survival at least, do too much work as well, which is always a win for any Minecraft builder. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, especially when, when I got like a, a giant skyscraper to build. Yes. I'm trying to figure out, you know, like mm. this is all well and good. Like I could do a couple letters on certain parts, but... As it expands up, you know, maybe a hundred blocks in the air, yeah. you know, what can I do to make it interesting all the way up? 
you know, wow. is, is my concern right now. Actually, this over here was probably the Ooh. the biggest <laughs> skyscraper that I, I did whilst I was building these. And where you've got vertical letters, you can you can supersize them. So when oh, we yeah. said the different okay. fonts, we've got uh, the, the coloration of them. Again, you've got more blocks now. You can use tough blocks. You can use the copper blocks. Um, but I always did love the orange and the gray. They just go together so well. And the other yeah. thing not to sleep on is prismarine. The fact that prismarine actually changes oh, yeah. color is just mm -hmm. so, for me, is so <laughs> cyberpunk. Um, so depending on when you're looking at it, you'll get a slightly different tone. Yeah. Yeah, so. just a, a subtle animation like that you mostly wouldn't yes. notice, but your brain kind of still knows it's it's yes. happening to draw the eye a little bit. Yeah, exactly, cool. exactly. And it looks like yeah, just kind of cutting in and setting back. Um, you know, like here, you used magma blocks. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't have thought to use that, but that works because you got yeah. the orange, kind of orange and gray theme going mm -hmm. on. Uh, and that and that works, and just some trapdoors in just, front. Yeah, the, the, these the yeah these are the um, the fence gates, in fact, and it just it breaks up that transition. So Scar obviously talks about a lot about transitions there. If you didn't mm -hmm. have those in, if I take out a couple of them, then it looks quite stark that you've got the contrast uh -huh. between the two things. But just by adding a couple of these fence huh. gates in, it actually gives you enough space and color to move your eye between those two things. So yeah, fence gates. That's fantastic. Yeah, that's a great tip. Yeah, kind of the same thing here with, this time I said the right word, trapdoors. Uh, <laughs> you have it kind of on the, the window sills, yes. uh, like in the front, just to kind of help. Because yeah, again, if you take mm -hmm. these away, yeah, I see exactly what you mean. It's, it's yeah. just, it's and also you got some lighting behind there that it kind of yeah. like it gives you that transition to, to not see it. I mean, most of the time you're going to be on the ground looking up. Mm -hmm. And so when you're at this angle, like this, you just get a sliver. Uh, you mainly you mainly just see the yeah. trapdoors, but they're nice and yeah, lit up because exactly. of the lights that are tucked behind it. Yeah. So yeah, looking at the the kind of the visual angles of where most people would be. Yeah, we're gonna have people flying around with elytras and stuff, but mm. for the most part, people are gonna be grounded, right? So yeah. looking up from down here is kind of the view you want to to tackle, and that's what you've done here. I think the yeah. trapdoors definitely helped. Yeah, and window sills as well. Window sills are, are great again to break to give that extra layer of depth because anything that as you're transitioning past the building, your eye just picks up different glimpses of color as you move past. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, this is exactly what I need. <laughs> this this <laughs> this right here, this this tall guy with the orange. I mean, yeah, I'm sold on the orange, a hundred percent. Oh yes, like that looks good because I did start the build already with a like a gray concrete, mm -hmm. and I'd like to keep that. But it was looking even. I did I did maybe a, a quarter of the height of it, and I was already worried <laughs> that yes. I wouldn't have any way to make it stand out and look good. But if just by if I sprinkled in some of these details that you have here, I think that's just going to do it. And vertical letters. Mm, yeah, I'll have vertical to, letters. Here, here you kind of came up with, you're not just like faking words. Like you actually have cyber yeah. uh, and then... And cyber ink. It, cyber ink. Oh, yeah. So, okay, okay. So I, was trying to, I was trying to make something out of this. But again, this is more just like a, a random kind of corporate symbol yeah. to break it up, right? Yes. This is one of the ones that I did a... So you've got the wording going around this banner at the top so when this gets lit up then actually you get the depth from the again enrod's your definitely your friend it shines through the glass but obviously it can't shine through the lettering so you get an absolutely amazing effect at night yeah that's super cool oh man i think stress sells enrod she's gonna be making so <laughs> much from me man <laughs> yes um big fans as well big fans are good uh, so anything that's got a big intake where you've got a big building oh, um, yeah. I, I try to even with these kind of styles that don't really exist I try to make things a little have a little bit of realism if you've got a building this big you're going to need some pretty big fans now these can go either on top or actually on big units on the sides of these builds to actually transfer the air from the outside where there's no people to all the people inside mm -hmm. do you have any where you have one on the side I Ha I can't remember. I, I might do. have some, yeah, some small ones. But yeah, I think yeah. I know you. Okay, you do well, said Derpol on in your world. Yeah. So. On, on the topic of um, 
window details and things like that that is that's um pretty easy to stack on big buildings uh the carpet trick is one of my favorites because it also does illuminate yes. quite well as long as oh, you yeah. have like a little bit of a light on the inside of the window mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and this could either be like protruding like this or you know if you're if you yeah, uh, have it level. sink it in it also works uh pretty well like that um and you and can play around with this where where there's maybe like um a couple of these are missing right so mm, yeah. like okay. you know some of them have broken out or whatever and <laughs> so, stuff like that that's another thing that you really should try and play around with it's just the illusion of mm -hmm. um wear and tear right yeah. uh Ooh, it, like okay. was showing those tetris blocks of gray to him that was a pattern that he um designed when i usually drop in a couple of those um smooth stone blocks into a gray wall like that it's because it's actual um like the paint has come off yes or, that's or what i started the, with the concrete has come off yeah yeah, yeah that yeah. was what i started and with actually... and just ended up making one of them as a tetris uh block and <laughs> yeah. thing yeah yeah so yeah it kind of makes sense like definitely it... something it's like texture gets worn over time, right? Yes, and that's like, what I've tried like to do Like you see here. this kind of stuff, like yeah. water spots or, or, or mm -hmm. just, mm -hmm. yeah, like anywhere, say say it rained and water gathered up here and slowly exactly. trickled over this edge, yeah. then it's going to obviously affect the color of um, the surface. You know, we see that yeah, in real life all the that's time, That's what right? I've got just down here as well. So again, with the gray concrete, with the cyan, you can actually use, so these are the regular deep slate rather than the cobbled deep slate because that's directional as well. So you can mm. get the side pattern going down and you can get some variation with the, the block against the wall. So that gives you more choice in how you can actually texture things up using the regular deep slate rather than the cobbled deep slate. And just thinking um, one of the tricks that I actually learned from Ulraf, the, the Mojang dev, um, is do you know about um, impossible blocks? So if no. you take something that can be instantly destroyed, um, so we're in creative, so anything can be instantly destroyed. But if you take something like this, obviously you can put something like a carpet on top of it. But as soon as you break that block, it goes because mm -hmm. of the instant nature of it. Uh, it didn't work on that that particular one. It uh, let me just uh, do it. You can actually place blocks that like lanterns and things hanging from the underside of things like carpets. Um, oh, and yeah. then they'll my, stay. My favorite okay. technique for that would be the actual uh, grass grass trick. Um, just yeah. because it's in survival, it's a lot more. Um, <laughs> reliable so yes. if yeah. i were to do this and uh, so yeah so uh grass there carpet there and then you can actually aim at the bottom of the carpet yes yeah yeah there. oh okay stuff like that yeah um also <laughs> the uh cool. the 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 trick with um like gravity blocks and things and being able to make them float so you can use anvils on walls but i mean this is this is getting into the sort of stuff that you don't really want to mess around with on scale in survival yeah. but like you can, yeah, you can make the anvil float <laughs> without any blocks underneath it and stuff like that uh, somebody comes by and does a block process. update and there goes all your work right mm. <laughs> yeah yeah, <pretty> much. yeah. <laughs> But so, the carpet, cool, the carpet trick um, with the buttons is great for awnings and stuff yes. on like food stands and all that. I use that. Yeah, one. yeah. I've never seen that before. That's super cool. It's so easy to accidentally break the string as well because you can't see it very well. But the button you mm. can actually make it as a uh, as a part of the design. So you can obviously now we've got so many mm. buttons with the new woods. You can actually use that yeah, with the coloration. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You can play around. You could have like orange buttons under the cyan carpets or something mm. like that. Yeah. Lots of options. So I, I touched on it in terms of the pipes before, but there's so many different pipe designs there. So one of the things that I've done in here is because you can log waterlog chains and you can waterlog mm -hmm. lightning rods, then you can actually place the, the lightning rods in there. It first of all makes it much easier to place the water because if you try and put a water bucket in the trapdoors, you're just going <laughs> to waterlog the trapdoors and make a mess. Right. But here you can actually just waterlog the... Um, the lightning rod or the chain and it's actually a lot easier to do in survival as well plus whilst you're walking past you don't re necessarily realize but you get you catch your eye of something that's inside there yeah yeah 
Yeah, it's different angles. You don't even know it's there, and then you start to walk past and you see yes. it kind of emerge. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. And I like the I like what you did with the corners. You just did uh, the actual copper bulbs yes. in the corners to kind of like because it's got to connect up some mm-hmm. some way, right? To, to switch angles. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, you could use a block that's closer to water, like ice, if you wanted, for for example. Um, but e- equally, I think the, using these copper uh, these copper bulbs because you can just power them and then forget about them. They're yeah, really, really yeah, good. Yeah, they're great. And another great one for piping is the decorated pots. Just because they're slightly, they're one pixel smaller than everything else, you can get this real nice differentiation between some of the actual pipes themselves and some of the intersections. I just wish that these were directional. But now that they've made them <laughs> made them hold things, I think that that's probably a, a dream that's never going to come true for me. <laughs> that, yeah, that's... It's cool because it's doing it's doing so. I, I clicked on each one of these, thinking they were mm-hmm. going to be two different, like maybe decorated. Uh, I don't know because you're going to add decorations to the decorated yes, pots, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. I thought maybe you had done that because like it looks like one's darker than the other, <laughs> yeah. doesn't it? Yes, yeah. But they're the same thing. It's mm. just some sort of lighting. Oh, th- this yes. one up here doesn't do that. Like I'm up, I'm up here, and this one, well. That's I, so strange. Mm, From I, certain angles, they're this exact same color, but I move over and one yeah. looks lighter than the other. I think it's something to do. I think it might also have a little bit to do with the texture that you're using. So I've used just some acacia w- wood here, the striped acacia wood. But I think that, yeah, if you use different colors and things, then it mm. might impact that. But the That's other cool. good thing now, these decorated pots, and I've just done it around this corner because these now have an inventory space you can actually <laughs> transfer items down these pipes on the outside of your building so with the hoppers no and these way. pots if you wanted to collect something from a hopper you could actually uh, have this uh, if you built a farm for example inside you could actually transfer the items down through the decorated pots <laughs> into something else wait a minute wait a minute uh so if we what shoot it with an arrow right yes can I even do that? Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's the blocks I put at the top. Made it all yeah. the way to the bottom. Oh, that's cool. And the hopper fits like perfectly perfect yeah. into there. Yes. To where you lose the tip of the hopper and it actually looks really cool. Yeah, so it's it's decorative, but Very it's nice. also practical transportation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, also because I suppose because the hopper has a container on top yes. now, they're also more lag friendly. Yes. Because that's the big deal with hoppers is when they have mm-hmm. an open top, no container on top, it's yes. going to cause some lag in the world. Yeah. So this this also solves that. Mm. Oh, that's cool. So. Okay, using that one. That one's going in. <laughs> so another another good one with walls, as you can see here, the with the depth that you get from walls, where you've got this thick layer of plaster, and obviously we've got yeah. loads of different walls. The tough ones being a, a great example, which would work brilliantly with the cyan terracotta. Um, you can just put them in for these bits that have chipped away. That's cool. Yeah, I like that. Mm. That's a, such a simple thing to do when you have a, yes. a big surface like this. If, as long as you have a wall that, that kind of works. Yeah. Right? Which it, which it totally does here with the gray concrete and the, the deep slate brick walls. Yes. Yeah. Very cool. Man, I, I'm getting... Okay. I'm getting so much <laughs> inspiration right now. I'm, I think... I think the the main thing I was hoping to get out of this, we've, we've got now. Like yeah. my big skyscraper that I need to tackle... Like literally this guy right here solves my biggest <laughs> uh, concern that I had. But seeing all these other tips and tricks you have uh, is, is going to go a long way in a lot of the other builds that I'm doing. What is this? Uh, you got a whole strip of stuff over there? Were you planning on yeah, showing well, this me is, some of that stuff too? This is from a, too, or? a video that I did. This is on more <laughs> of the interior decoration stuff. So okay. just some of the things, but again, some of the ones like this patterning with the, um, I really like the shroom lights because they've got a real bold orange color that ties mm-hmm. in with some of the other patterning. Um, but obviously they're a light source as well. So just using some funky stairs and slabs patterns and you could upsize this massively as well. You can get this transition where you've just got the depth this this mimics a little bit what I did with the first building that I built. Yes. But obviously grander size. So basically I could take that same kind of like view that I have of that building yes. and miniaturize it somewhere else Absolutely. in the city to kind of like have a draw, you know, to like to kind of bring them together in a way, you know, mm. that might work. Okay. 
That's cool. Okay, I didn't think about doing the stairs like that with lights behind us. That's a great idea. Yeah, and then some just again, if uh -huh. you're breaking up yeah. a big a big area, you've got some bold swatches of color just going through. Say so, so this is just again, this is andesite. But mm. all you all you need in this is one line and actually it draws the eye. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now I know what to do with the other other part. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So yeah, oh, these... I'll look at examples here. So yeah, these these are just like I say, just some some more of the interior decoration of ones like workstations and things like that that you can have inside. Oh, this one's this one's great. Pumpkin even tucked in there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and then and definitely so sederpol has got some absolutely brilliant robots. So I just did some some little ones. Uh... My favorite one being probably this little this little dog. <laughs> I can't say why just yet, but I'm going to need some of those. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll show you some of mine in a bit. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so, and then just just down here, the, we've got some some ceiling decoration. So again, don't don't sleep on mm. the ceilings. Just using some glass oh, yeah. panes there again with some lighting. Just some All shower right. designs, and then yep, shower. if you need My any more shower on the wall. Oh the yeah, shower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, purple. Uh, purple is an underlooked and underused block, in oh, my opinion. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, it's, it's just it's because it's hard to bring other blocks in the palette with it. I think. I th yeah. You know, like I th once you go purple, it's like it's hard to find something that like works with it in a way. You know. But it's. I think it's about. Don't. Uh, it's not just blocks that necessarily go with it. So purple, and one of the things that that goes brilliantly with purple is your iconic yellow colors so if you consider like the the colors of the end cities um mm, mm -hmm. then actually you can use the complementary colors as well yeah yeah i never noticed yeah, how the uh, the deep slate actually black looks and, pretty good with it too yeah black and purple yellow and purple are, mm -hmm. are pretty dang good and because they're all muted um it's a muted purple and a muted yellow they yeah they work together well yep. and yeah and and if you want something that's a bit, I mean, you can get away with this kind of transition as well with with the new cherry white wood. Um, mm -hmm. And it's always, you've always been able to then mix that up in with with that. So you can transition between these colors now. So purple, right. yeah, in the past didn't have many friends, but now it's got a whole bunch more. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Yes. And then if you need any more banner designs, I've got some of uh, the ones that I've used as well. The fades. Uh, Very cool. The yeah, I like, ones. I like this guy right here. It's probably my favorite. <laughs> this yeah. one's really cool. And then it's, yeah, just some, some nice. getting some smoke coming through in terms of the steam coming up from the underground. Yeah, definitely need to do more of this kind of stuff. I don't have enough like animation in the city. It's yes. a bit, uh, it's a bit um, dry at the moment. This one, this one as well. Um, obviously if you want to go for the, the strong smokestacks, that's great. But, um, it's also worth if you if you drop this down just one more, mm, one more. So block this is an air gap. Yeah, you get a then bit you're less. Then you just smoke. getting these occasional, mm -hmm. these occasional little puffs. Just a little of, puff that can make you know, it exactly. more, more of a steam venti yeah. kind of. Wait, 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 uh, still... And if you mix okay. the, if you mix the two together, so you have the occasional one that's got the full on, the full on puffing, then you've got like I say that difference between the views. Is there a way to yeah. like redstone toggle that? You said that it's the air gap mainly you, that you does that. Yeah, you can to a certain it's extent. You can do it to a certain extent in the same way that you block a beacon beam. So you can have it. Right. So you piston okay. control a block over there. So the smoke will travel through um, a number of blocks. The more blocks that you have, the more the the less smoke that will come through. So once okay. you get to about. I do Two stops yes, it completely. Yes, exactly. And a trapdoor counts oh. as one of those. So if you had a block that you were moving back and forth underneath, then you can turn it on and turn it off. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that might be fun Pretty to much. play with. And then cool. as a, a bit of a take <gasps> on the Tory gate down here. Um, You're going to just walk past the vehicles? Really? Well, yeah. I mean, like... <laughs> these... <laughs> You've got to have some floating cars and 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 cyber. Bikes. I got a I got a garage. I need to put a few of these in. These are perfect. <laughs> okay, permission to use this guy. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> go for it. 
Oh, that's cool. Okay. All right. Sorry. I got distracted easily. <laughs> yeah, this uh, this has a bit of the same shape of what Joel did, um, yes. obviously without the, the bits and bobs, right? Mm -hmm. um, his is much more uh, just oriental yep. based and, and yep. less uh, cyberpunky, I guess, if you will. Yep. So and, and this I wonder is... if I could match you know exactly. what i mean like his yeah, is on the could, outside of the wall exactly you could I have could, almost an uh, uh, an alternate more cyberpunky version on the inside that's a nod yeah. to his build uh, and this is kind yes. of similar to what sir Derpol was saying in terms of using the levers because again you yes. can place them on any surface yeah having the i didn't think of the glass panes either i've been so using great. i've been using the end rods i've been using the lightning mm. rods i've been using the bars but i don't think i've connected them yep. to glass panes in the yep. way that this was done and that works really well because they, they, yeah, they have the same like pixel width basically through it all the mm. way down. So that's yeah, yes. okay. Yeah, and and the other one that's great because they're they're fully directional um, is using the stone. Uh, what are these called stone grindstones? That's the word. Um, so you can link those in with some of the some of the other blocks, um, and just have it so you've got some machinery going around. Where you want something That's to cool. look like it's moving, then having some of these is great because it just looks like they're the rollers. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, rolly doors. Yes. Got to have some rolly and, doors. And movement as well. So anything that gives you movement, like the stone cutters as well. You can hide this quite easily in there and just, just have, like, the blade sticking out because if you put it at the same level as this for example oh right yeah yeah all these little animated blocks definitely help yes for sure uh this is cool i would have never thought to build a, a gate similar to his but in a different style mm. on the inside of the wall now i think i want to do it for sure <laughs> <laughs> this is cool <laughs> so this was one thing that i did here so where you've got the where you've got the uh end rods here I've actually changed the color of the block behind it. So it <gasps> looks like, e even mm -hmm. though you get the light, it looks like you've got the light and the shade. So that's. Yeah, mm. that's really smart. I like that. Mm. It's like just illuminating the backside, basically. So you actually get the lighting where yes. typically you wouldn't. Exactly, exactly. And you can you can play around with this as well. So you can have it as a, you can give more light than you, you would normally have or you can give less light by just using the strips of a slightly different tone. Yeah, that's very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, baked, baked lighting, I think yes. is what they call it. Yes. Right? And, and then as well, just again, one more thing with the walls. As you'll see, these little frog lights sticking through, you've just got mm -hmm. a different way to light up the build by using just walls on either side because they do connect up. Yeah, you end up covering, yeah. you know, 66% of the block or whatever and, it comes to. Yeah. And it's it's also a brilliant way to, where you've got curves, where you're building um, cylinders. It's a great way to curve off cylinders as well. So it takes off the harsh edges that you get otherwise without having vertical blocks and gives you a, an actually a proper circle, a round shape. I have a building that is in need of that right now. <laughs> so that's perfect. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh. I mean, the other th the other thing that probably I think both myself and Sir Derpol have got loads and loads of is you need antennas. You need antennas mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. over the place, everywhere. It's the, dig okay. it's the digital age and, yeah. So yeah. dotted throughout, there's a whole bunch of these and there's some more of the... Um, this one's quite a nice little design in terms of a uh, satellite. satellite dish. That's, thank you, Sir Derpo. Couldn't think of the word. Again, brain not braining. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. I, I think I went a little too uniform on... Mm. I did have antennas on the first building, but it was really, really uniform, mm. and I need to, to take some of these and break it up the way uh, yes. you've done here. And there's a lot, lot more to it. You're using a big mix of... Uh, fences and end rods and mm -hmm. iron bars and walls and everything, right? Yeah, so. and, um, and working out what does and doesn't connect to each other is also useful. So the reason that these are stacked up in yeah. this way is because they don't then connect across, so you can choose whether something mm. connects across or not. Right. 
Wait until you see what can what can happen when you start mixing in a little bit of redstone into this yes. one as well. Yeah, yeah. Right. When you start putting in maybe one of those, <laughs> oh yes. and then yep. having one of those, and oh, you got another satellite dish there. Yes. Oh, that's cool. And, oh and yeah, it's all yeah. Just integrated into the design. Mm. That works perfect. And in, again, <laughs> in, in terms of these little fans, just this is one of the oldest designs I think out there. But in terms of like buildings, just using the rails to give you an actual mm -hmm. circle. Yep. Yeah. One thing I did see was like air conditioning units using lodestone, but you know, Expensive. being a survival yeah. player, oh, yes. uh, because it's got that like side circle that mm. could represent like an air conditioner fan, right? Yes. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, another right. Not fun. So, on um, one other block that you probably haven't, because I hadn't until I was messing around with the stuff, considered using, and for me it works really well with Cyberpunk, is the clay block. Because when you get close to it, it's got some really bright, kind of like staticky looking particles to it. So if you're building like a screen that's supposed to not be quite working, rather than using yeah. wool, then actually they're just the clay blocks. Yeah. I see it now. I, I've never stared at a clay block long enough to see <laughs> those those kind of the light gray, like yeah. super light gray pixels that are scattered throughout, and now mm -hmm. you can kind of see the static. Yeah. Yes. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Yeah. Believe me, I've spent far, far too many evenings <laughs> staring at blocks intently, trying to work out what what will work with them. <laughs> uh, well, it's obviously working for you. There's a mm. lot of cool stuff cool. in here. You know, thank you uh, for showing me around. I'll put a, happy I'll put a, to. send me a link to send people to that where they can see more of your stuff. Be yeah. happy to send them uh, both your ways, obviously. So mm -hmm. Dirtball and and AD Craft. Uh, okay. Check the description, everybody, and, and go go give these guys some love because you guys are doing amazing stuff, and I appreciate all the uh the help you're giving me as i'm doing my research trying to get better at, at the cyberpunk craft uh -huh. so more than happy to help <laughs>